Lucas. Cool, what's going on this year? Nice, it's going on. Can you hear it? <laughs> We're £1,800 short otherwise. Like we don't even have a baby. Oh my goodness. An hour later. That was incredible. We have just come back to the hotel and we are in our new room, which is actually right next door to the one that we was in. So basically you can have because a lot of families come here, so you can have the older kids in the rooms in the house next door and then you can come here. So I'm just gonna show you first the main entrance. So we come through the front door here. So, nice little garden part that we walk through and then you come through the front door and you have the bedroom over here you have to walk through this kind of glassed glassed? glass windows hallway. hallway that's the one I did and like so much greenery and it's like a little jungle they placed Pollyanna's cot there as well but she's been sleeping in with us at the moment and this is the bed so the room is like just like an it is heart shaped isn't it i didn't know if it was yeah or circle yeah it looks like a heart though so it's kind of just a small overall kind of shape and then we go back out and we have the bathroom through here so it's this one is more a lot more traditional moroccan than the one that we was in previously a lovely big bath surrounded by marble tiles and then we have have a separate room for the toilet so cute they put petals everywhere again you can see outside into the, the little garden that they've made then you come through the living room and the best bit out to your own private heated swimming pool surrounded by palm trees ah. so two sun lounges and then you also have um, a seating area so you can have breakfast and dinner here as well so this is just incredible and I'm not sure if I've already said but like in, in Marrakesh they don't tend to heat their pools so it was really important for me that we had a heated pool because of Pollyanna they normally make them very cold because of the heat but they're like uncomfortable cold. They're not very nice. I'm pretty sure when we was in Thailand, that was why I got ill at one point because the water was so cold. So we're just gonna chill for a little bit and then we are going to head back out. Pollyanna, what do you think of our new room? You like? You like? <laughs> and then wake her up once we were all ready to go and then she had her she had her bottle and we're now just on our way to find Nomad um, and she's going to sleep it's again there she is oh sun's in her eyes she's trying to get up so yeah we're off to Nomad first if we can find it anyway Tonight, Pollyanna is wearing a pretty white dress from Next. A pretty white dress, and it comes with these really pretty bloomers too. It's quite, I think it's from the occasion range, and it buttons up at the back. And it's again size three to six months, so that's kind of the sizes that she's in at the moment. Pollyanna. <laughs> we tried to go to Nomad, and you have to make a booking, even if you're just going for a drink. 
So we have the baby. I think they said something about you're not allowed to have a the table. They recommend you to come to um, Cafe de Spices, which is literally opposite. The so Nomad is over here. And yeah, we literally opposite. Anything in sunset that way. So but Pollyanna's pretty cosy and, uh, and uh, yeah, we're just going to have a drink. They also don't sell beer in these cafes yeah. because of Ramadan. I'm not sure. Are you sure? Is it because of Ramadan? Ramadan is just just in general, yeah. Um, but yeah, we've got dinner in a few hours. I managed to bargain my uh, one hour. Um, I managed to get myself a bag. I need to learn better. I need to be better at haggling because, yeah, he started at 60 and I said 50. I should have said 30. So this is it. This is it. Just what I wanted. They're on Selfridges for like £25, these little ones. So, and I wanted it to dip down. Almost sunset, and um, for the locals, Ramadan was over, so they can all go and eat. So it's completely quiet, and it's just yeah, completely different to what it's like during the daytime. Obviously, everyone rushes off to go and have some food and some drink. People are just waiting by the. Hello. Hey. <laughs> They just wait by their stalls to eat. They've got their food already and they just wait. Wait for the sun to set. She's going off to sleep. We've got a nine minute walk now to our thing. Well, hopefully, yeah, if we can find it. This is the square. Oh, look. He's giving them um, a lady just walked past one of the stores, a Moroccan lady, and she asked him for water. She asked him for Yeah, she's obviously out and about, completely quiet, waiting to eat. Somebody. So during the day, none of this is here. All these food stalls, it's completely clear. So we have just arrived at Nawama. And it was actually really weird because we asked someone out in Jama El Fina, the square, for directions to here and he actually works here and he walked us all the way here and it's quite a, it's a couple of minute walk um, so yeah it's really strange like I so believe in fate so this is the restaurant it's got good music already Pollyanna's almost asleep now baby is still asleep after all that the loud music the fire show the belly dancer Pollyanna stayed asleep I literally cannot believe it I cannot believe <laughs> just the guy with the music music things like tapping them right right by the pram and was being so loud like I can't believe it we've been in there for about three hours and we're just headed back to the hotel now. So we slept so 
well the room is like pitch pitch black and it's just perfect and we're just gonna order breakfast by the pool and oh, oh, the door's locked um, we're just gonna order breakfast by the pool and I'm gonna set up the shop because I want to get like a photo of us having breakfast by the pool and um, yes it's a new day so we have two more days left here in Marrakesh and um, we have actually come we came for five days which is quite a long time for like a city break but I knew that we would like want to do some things rest in some days and kind of just take it slow and not rush with the baby I think that's always the best thing to do when you have the baby when you have a baby I'm still absolutely shocked that she stayed asleep last night through all of that crazy, chaotic, loud noises. I can't believe it. Incredible. And she's still so happy. I thought maybe she'd be a little bit grumpy, but she's absolutely fine. Good morning, Marrakesh. Another gorgeous, gorgeous day. We've just done photos from this shot here. And I'm pretty sure they're incredible photos. I'm very excited to share it on Instagram. So we have to watch because the birds come and eat the food every morning. So yeah, we're quickly, oh God, we're quickly going to, we're now just actually gonna eat the breakfast. <laughs> so yeah, see you in a bit. Sooks today because of Ramadan. All the shops are shut. It's so quiet. Like normally the hustle and bustle through here is just crazy. It's so strange. We were here yesterday and it was so busy. It was packed. There was all stalls in the middle. It's just a completely it's more like a ghost town today. Every day, no sugar, no. Is it nice? Yeah. Pollyanna's first ride on a horse and cart. My first ride on a horse and cart. Imagine. Oh, that's nice. I don't like how they're all lined up so I must say I'm not I'm not impressed with that. <laughs> so it's very quiet and we've just got dropped off at, um, by the horse and cart and we have to walk to Ben Yusuf. But again, the streets are very quiet and I'm sure they're not normally like this. Pollyanna's having a little cry. We've just had to stop and put some more sun cream on her. All the locals are dressed up and they've got all food ready to go for their parties. We're waiting for our horse and cart. We've lost him. So we've just got off our horse and cart. And I have decided that is the last time I will ever be going on a horse and cart when they're put in positions that they are put in. Like, they're rammed into each other, like, behind each other's bums. Like, to fit as many horses on the, like, the row as possible. Some of them had their front and back legs tied so they couldn't kick. Oh, it's not nice. Like, they're, obviously you can go on a horse and cart, but when they're in a better, what's the word, better environment. environment, yeah, like here they're obviously doing it for tourism and they're trying to fit as many in and yeah, but it's just, you can tell, like some of the horses look lovely and like they're standing alone, like this one here, but then when you see the ones that are like rammed, like one behind the other, legs tied and it's just not very nice, it's not very nice, the monkeys are out as well. That's the only downfall I think to, to Marrakesh is like yeah the the way they treat the animals is very nice. Riding joy up the stairs again. 
We have just stopped off to eat again for lunch, so Pollyanna was due a bottle and we've stopped off at a really nice little kind of rooftop bar again. Um, very quiet, not like a well-known one. I'll leave all the places that we visit down in the dis description box below and in the blog post of course. But it had like a lovely rooftop terrace again, but we were the only people up there, then it got busy so we've just come downstairs and they've kind of got like these sofa so she's just like lying down gives her a chance to lie down and not get too hot and bothered like holding her is a bit of a pain so i've got my delicacy adam's gone for like what is it called um mixed kebabs really mixed kebabs we push it. so we have just been dropped off outside latitude 31 by the um hotel transport and we've kept, walked a little bit just so that we could uh, go somewhere else before dinner in a few hours and we've ended up at the same place where the horse and cart picked us up and dropped us off earlier. Which is really weird because when we was walking around here earlier, we, um, we said we'd like to come back. And I'm not sure if I mentioned, but people kept telling us that Ben Yusuf was closed. Closed for renovations. And I think we were had a little bit. I think they just say that to get you to like follow them and go to their market stall and things. Because Adam said that they do that in Thailand as well. And yeah, I think we had a little bit, so when we get back, I'm actually going to Google and see see if it was true or not, if it was open or closed. I think we were had. Tonight, Pollyanna is wearing a romper from Next, again, and it's covered in these pretty animal prints. And I thought it was very another fitting outfit for Marrakesh. Um, I haven't put anything underneath just because it's so hot, and she's actually not worn best the whole holiday so it pop, pop us up under here we have we have to undo the bottom one because it's tight on her legs Chunky and then legs. it buttons up at the back as well Thank you. And my delicacy is here somebody on instagram recommended a cafe called cafe araby and we looked for it on instagram and they said to go at sunset and strangely enough we walked past it earlier and adam was like is that not the place that somebody recommended for sunset? And it was just before sunset. We got in, we had one of the best seats in the rooftop with the best view of the sunset. Like, I find it so strange that we just keep falling into these places that are exactly what we're looking for. It's really nice. Pollyanna, we kept her awake while we was up there. And um, we're now walking to Latitude 31, which is about a mm, 20 minute walk, maybe. So yeah. Right. We've put the roof down. The roof? <laughs> the, what's it called? Canopy. The, yeah. Canopy down on her buggy because she likes to look. There's like lots of shadows and the sun is set now so she won't get burnt. And she'll fall asleep. She'll probably be asleep by the time we get to the restaurant. And it's another outdoor restaurant under the stars. We started off at Latitude 31 with this which they've brought out for us. It's like a cucumber juice, a little tiny mini kebab. And uh, yeah, this one is mango with cheese. They don't sell alcohol here, so Adam has gone for a virgin strawberry mojito. It looks really good. And I'm starting off with a Coke for now. And Pollyanna is still sleeping. She just moved as I said that. Didn't last long. Four nights in. And it's also the busiest restaurant we've been to. She's not crying, she's just not sleeping. Yeah. We've drinked it four nights of eating out, and she's away. So for mains, I went for beef, and Adam has gone for beef to drink. To gym. And we've just put Pollyanna back in the pram, but she seems like she's gonna hopefully fall asleep. Hopefully, it's such a busy restaurant. Thank you. Today, Pollyanna is wearing another next outfit. This one comes with a very cute headband. So, Adam actually picked this up and 
he was joking when he looked at it, but I knew it would match one of my outfits. A long rumper. Rum rumper. Rum rumper or rumper? It's a long romper, again, short sleeve, and it's elasticated all on the neck, so it just slides over the head, and then it buttons up along the bottom, and again, we leave the last one undone. And then the headband is elasticated, but it also has Velcro at the back. But she seems like she likes this one. Yeah! <laughs> hey, look. Daddy keeps calling her Cat Slater. Me. It's only leopard print. But the presentation was beautiful. What I will say is if you come to Marrakesh and you don't like nuts, seeds. make or seeds like me, make sure you tell them no nuts, no seeds. But last night even the ice cream had seeds and like nuts nuts sprinkled on the ice cream. So it was a little bit it, yeah, for me it's annoying. When we um went to Nawama, they actually had nuts on the steak as well, which I've never ever experienced so out here I think that's quite common for nuts to just be on everything nuts and seeds. Today is our last day and we are heading to Heritage Spa where we are going for our last massage. It's supposed to be one of the best spas in Marrakesh and yeah so I thought for the last day that would be a nice little treat an hour each. One will stay with the baby while the other one is getting the massage and vice versa. We're just picking the scent, the oils that we want for our massage. And the Pollyanna's just woke up. We've arrived to Heritage Spa and I have to say, if you're thinking of going anywhere with a baby, make it Marrakesh because they love babies, they treat them so lovely. And it's just, you just don't get that in, in like most countries you go to. like. Everybody is like, oh, like giving her so much love, like she's so precious. Like she's precious, but they make her even more precious. Like they adore babies, adore. Like the time yesterday when the little kids came up and came up to us in the street and was like kissing her cheek. Like you'd never get that in England ever. But when they see you with a baby, they just love them. They love you, don't they, Pollyanna? Yes. And also yesterday when I had my Zara dress on, I've never been so respected. They were smiling at me, saying hello to me, the women. Um, I guess it's Adam thinks it's because I looked like I had made the effort to like dress like them. So it was like long sleeve, long all the way to the floor, covered everything. Um, so yeah, I think ne next time I come again, I'll definitely try and wear more stuff like that. Because I guess it just shows you're making more of an effort. I do cover myself up when we're <laughs> elsewhere. <laughs> so Adam's gone for his forehand massage. I'm not sure if I told you, but we're both getting forehand massages and we've never, ever, ever had them before. So it will be very interesting. I don't know if I'm going to be able to concentrate. We've just left the spa and my oh my, that forehand massage was incredible. It was like heaven they've done my face again my nose they like really done my nose and like my eyes oh my God, I feel so relaxed and we got to pick what oil we used as well so we are now we've left heritage spa we're now going back to the square where we're going to be picked up in about an hour um, oh gosh, so relaxed now so relaxed I didn't film last night after last night's dinner we were pretty Pretty much in a rush to get back to our shuttle, but dinner at uh, Latitude 31 was very nice. And this is the slips again today, completely different from yesterday when they were celebrating the end of Ramadan. No. Completely different, every shop is open. We are just getting ready to say goodbye to Dar and your wine, and you win. And uh, oh, we've had such a lovely time here. We have said goodbye to Dar and your wife in the room and we are now heading home. I've had such a fun It's been so good, especially the first time with Pollyanna. It was, I hate to say easy, but it just wasn't what I was expecting. I thought it was, it was going to be really hard, really stressful. I think we said it was so fun. I had so much fun. But we're going home back to our boy Blue who has been staying with my mum and I've missed him like that. She's just sent a photo of him. 
end. He looks so sad. He's probably actually not actually overfeeds him. But yeah, we're going home. I'm not sure how much I'm going to carry on filming. But um, yeah, everything in this video is in the description box below. There will be blog posts. There are Instagram photos up on my Instagram. So make sure you go and check out the blog and my Instagram. So I might end this vlog here. Or I might be a little bit through the airport. We shall see. But if I don't get to say goodbye, I'm going to say goodbye now. At the airport, checked in. Um, we, I don't even know what's at this airport. But she's awake and she's had her bottle. So her next bottle is due when we're on the plane. So, which is always good, because hopefully then after the bottle, she'll sleep and we will have a lovely flight. We will have a lovely flight. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Also, this is part of the um, sets that I got from Next as well. The, the tops and the bottoms are bought separately, but they're a pack of three. I like these little unicorn ones. Cozy, they're like pyjamas. So far, so good. The gate's about to open. We've been through security, and she just likes to look at the airport lights. She's gonna head off to sleep any minute now. It's a shame because we're obviously gonna have to wake her up to get on the plane. Just putting the bugaboo down, and it goes down all into one which is why it was so handy. So this was the Bugaboo B, number five. And then we've got the travel bag, which we put it into just before we get on the plane. And baby is sleeping in my arms. Give it to daddy, Pollyanna. Thank you, Pollyanna. <laughs> Mwah. I love you too, Pollyanna. <laughs>